Hey Maple Nuts, I got you a quick video right here. I am, as I'm drilling holes on my pots, I decided to just make a video on this one. A lot of people ask me on the comment sections of my previous videos, which pots do I recommend? And when it comes to recommendation, it, that, that stuff is just subjective, right? To every person is different. Their garden is different. The, we the weather in their places are different. Here, where I'm at, is windy. It is very, very windy. I recommend, all right, for my situation where I'm at right now, these pots right there, all right? These pots are cheap. $15 for the big one, $10 for that one, okay? They're shallow, they're wide. So for the wind to tip my Japanese maples, I mean, it's, it's gonna take some wind, all right? Now, they will tip too. Every pot will tip regardless, all right? My Sensu that I had right there that it tipped the other day, I place it on a wider pot and next day it's still tipped and I place it right here, all right? It took, uh, it, it, it was very, very windy next day, like the following day, like super windy, knocked it down and I placed it there, okay? So they're not perfect, but they will hold way more. Now, the reason why my Sensu got knocked out is because of the height. Look at how big that tree is, all right? So it doesn't take a whole lot to knock it down, all right? It's there, it's not gonna get knocked out anymore, winds, tend to come from that way, from that side and just blow in that direction. And it just knocks down, you know, some of the trees here. Uh, so that is why I switched to those. These pots, they get knocked out all the time. These ones, not too often. In fact, I think that that is the first time that one of my trees get knocked down with one of those pots, all right? So let's make some holes, right? I get the question of how, what's the diameter that I use for the holes on my pots? Okay, and guys, it's not really about the diameter of the holes. It's not really about that. It's about how much the water is going to flush out of the pot, all right? You don't want anything that, oh, you don't want this pot like this, all right? You want some holes, right? So I use a, what is this? Is this a half an inch? Something like that, all right? I, I don't even know yet. Oh, yeah, it says one half, all right? Half an inch, all right? Obviously these are made to be knocked out with just a push, you know? You see? Boom. I do add some. All right. I do add one here. I add one more here. All right, so that's six holes, right? I add two more holes and those holes are on the side of the pot right here, all right? One right there, and one on the other side. Boom. That's it, this pot is ready. I got a few pots here already drilled. I have soil that I made today with the recipe, same recipe that I used from my previous video. And I am ready to pot or to repot the trees that I bought at uh, Mr. Maple Open House. 
I'm gonna repot them all same way that I've been doing it, all right? Just scrape the surface, locate the flare, and just put it straight in the pot at soil. Bam, that's it. I am not gonna mess around with the roots too much. <laughs> Definitely not mess around with the roots too much, all right? Because in the past I have had die a little bit of diebacks and I have had a little bit of stress showing up on my trees. It's about to be summer. You do not want to be stressing out these trees. These trees need as many roots as they can. So at this point in time, I really do not recommend anyone to be messing around with their trees uh, root system unless you are going to put that tree in the shade. All right, put it in the shade. If you do, you have to. If that tree is just way too overgrown and you really have to mess with the roots, put it in the shade. Don't let it, don't leave it in the sun. It, I promise you, you're going to see some damage if you mess around with the root system and you just leave it in the sun, right? So obviously I cannot afford that. That's full. This is full. Don't have any more shade areas. So I'm just gonna do a quick repot and call it a day. During the winter, some of these trees like the A mini, right? That it was well, really overgrown. And my Shishigashi right here, this puppy right here, this puppy was so overgrown that it was ridiculous. Like I pulled it out and it was just roots and roots and roots and barely any soil, okay? Now for those guys that wants to learn a little bit more beyond of what, what is happening to the soil, the roots are not eating the soil, guys. That is not what is happening. The roots do not feed on the soil the microorganisms in the soil eats the, or, the organic material in your soil and what they excrete is what the tree uses as a source of nutrient, all right? So the reason why is because the molecules in the organic soil are too big for the roots to intake that therefore what the microorganism excrete that molecule is small enough for the root to actually absorb anyways guys that's all i got for you i have a lot of work here to do and i am not going to record this stuff because you've seen it before nothing new so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace